But the loose now can be a painful disease requiring isolation and health department scrutiny. This month, Marquette has dealt with two students contracting the mumps. Tonight, we have more on the link between those two cases. I got an email about it. The message was sent to inboxes across campus. I got an email to my Marquette account. Health experts warning students and staff of Marquette University and a select group of others about a student with a confirmed case of mumps, a contagious disease spreading through saliva, including actions like coughing or sneezing, and it has spread from an original MU diagnosis earlier in September. We do think this person was linked to the first case, and the first case was linked to um, a foreign visitor, actually, who may have had the disease and came from a country where mumps may be more prevalent. It's a little concerning. Hopefully, someone, will, like everyone, will get their vaccinations that they need. This is uh, on our radar. It's a vaccine preventable disease that we typically don't see on an annual basis anywhere in Milwaukee. Paul Biedritsky of the Milwaukee Health Department describes the disease as locally rare, preventable, but troublesome. His department will monitor the case on and off campus for weeks to make sure it's contained. We're going to contact individuals to ensure they're vaccinated, make sure they monitor for symptoms, and then, of course, if they're under vaccinated or unvaccinated, we'll be providing that um, as well. Mumps can be passed on by someone two days before and up to five days after showing symptoms, like a swollen or painful cheek or jaw, fever, and headache. One way to avoid those symptoms and further email warnings is to practice good hygiene. And I wash my hands, so hopefully it won't happen to me. Those with the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine are best protected against the disease. Health experts say if you aren't vaccinated or need a second in a series of those two shots, see your health care provider or clinic. Meantime, Marquette officials say.